Um, if you take for, for, for Muslims, when we talk of fasting, I like to say that fasting is not synonymous with self-abnegation, mm. um, self-torture, self-punishment, um, self-denial. Self-mortification. Self-mortification like. on all those things. And that's why in Islam you find that in our form of fasting, early dawn meal is taken, but that between the early, early, early dawn meal and the breaking of the fast in the evening, you have a certain length of period where you travel back um, from the hustle and bustle of life, uh, temptations, attractions that break your connection with God, makes you lose con concentration, mm. um, uh, are all given up. And so elementally, it is not just uh, it, I think it is wrong and it is inadequate for uh, even some Muslims to define <laughs> most, uh, fasting just by way of the abstention from eating and drinking. Right. And, and I was just about to get to that, <laughs> yes. interestingly, because when yes. we fast, and I like to specify yes. what I adhere to, right. not what, because yes. I may not know fully what others adhere to. Yes. Christians generally have their own yes. fast. But before Easter, Catholics also uh, you know, yes. participate in our own form of fasting, right. of which we call Lent. And you are also encouraged that, exactly as you're saying, yes. it's not just fasting with your stomach. Mm. In fact, some people, for certain reasons, cannot fast. And I'll get to that in exactly. Islam as well, because yeah. I know it exists. But you, even certain things that you may watch, certain things that you may say, certain things that you may do, mm. you are encouraged to fast from them. Yeah. Is it same it, in, 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 it's in, same. in It's the same. It's well? same. Um, it's like, um, for example, I mean, the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, is supposed to have said that who, whoever fasts, and out of forgetfulness, he takes something that he should continue the fast. So if your definition of fasting is just abstention from eating and drinking, then you get it wrong. Because even, even though he's eating, he's in a state of fasting. Similarly, an elderly person, an elderly man who because of age and, and the feeble nature of his body mm. um, is unable to undertake the pangs of hunger. And so therefore he's allowed to eat but in place of each eating day, he gives charity. Right. <laughs> so, right. so such persons, even though are uh, seen, might be seen eating, but in terms of their minds and their spirits, they are in a state of fasting. Uh -huh. And that is why for me, given all these things, any Muslim who limits, limits the definition of fasting to the elementary abstention from eating and drinking, then gets it wrong. So this is a month, uh, is it the ninth month in the ninth Muslim, month of the Muslim uh, calendar, yeah. calendar that you set aside precisely for this. Now, there are five pillars of Islam, and yeah. Ramadan is one of one them. Of them yeah. Just how important is this month, Ramadan, or this pillar of Islam, uh, put side by side with the four other pillars? Yeah, um, um, the, 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 the special thing about the month of Ramadan is that the Quran will tell you in Quran chapter 2 verse 183 go, go in that um, this is the month of Ramadan in which the Holy Quran was revealed yeah so therefore um, it gives us a, a opportunity for celebration of the history of the commencement of our guidance and that's the, re the revelation of the of the Holy Quran that revelation also signifies God's connection with the world of human experience. And so that also then, then gives a certain holiness um, to the month. And indeed, in the month of Ramadan, Muslims are by dint of the holiness of the month of Ramadan expected to attain holiness. That is why doing anything contrary to the rules and rubrics of fasting is a violation of the sanctity. And the second of, of, of the months. Uh -huh. So that special holiness that comes with the month of Ramadan, especially because of the revelation of the Holy Quran, set it aside. And God said, I have made this one holy and special for you, for your fasting. And therefore, whoever lives, whoever lives to see the month or to live in the moments and the days of Ramadan, let him fast.